help you. May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Howdy viewers, Brad Prider of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is a multi-part mission called Duchesses and Other Animals. And you meet Algernon Wasp. And he wants you to go look for stuff and he pays well. The only thing is it takes forever to find what Mr. Wasp wants. You got to wander around, you got to find orchids, all kinds of things, hunt birds. Yeah, it takes a very long time and a lot of dedication. Only thing is, you need to do it in order to get 100%, which is what I'm trying to do. And the last two times I played through, I actually just gave up on this mission. And said, you know what, I'm done with it. Because you have to wander all over looking for these orchids. You got to shoot birds. The spoonbill. Oh, Lord. 30 spoonbill plumes. Yeah. In the spawn location where they normally were, they seldom showed up. And, yeah, I found a different location after the fact. But I digress. Let's get on with duchesses and other animals. Now, this mission only comes about after a fine night of debauchery. So it gives you a very limited time in which you can complete this mission. Because you only can complete it during Chapter 4. After that, it disappears. And then you wouldn't be able to get 100%. So let's meet. Mr. Algernon Wasp, and let's start this out. One moment, please. This is Hi. extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not... Really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Okay, the hardest thing on this list is going to be the 15 Lady of the Night Orchids. 
Otherwise, five little egret plumes, five reddish egret plumes, and five snowy egret plumes. Not a big deal. The best place to hunt egrets is around the strange man's cabin. That whole swampy area around it. And yeah, that's where you can find a bunch of egrets. Madman. 30 items, not too bad. The real problem is going to be when you have to hunt bird plumes. Five egrets, three different types. Like I said, they hang around the strange man's cabin. But you got to keep going around and running around to find them. And the whole swampy area, basically around the strange man's cabin, including stuff by the railroad tracks, etc. Yeah, that's where you're going to find egrets. And it's going to be a little difficult. And he even has spoonbills hanging around. But for some reason, they didn't spawn. And that's what drove me nuts. Now, these alligator eggs I'm going to gather are in prep for another part of this mission. And a slug to the head. As you can see, a bunch of egrets are already there. But I'm more concerned with the alligator. The egrets run off. Like I said, there is a ton of them around this cabin. But I want those alligator eggs, and eventually I'm going to take that alligator skin. Now, the strange man's cabin plays a little more role in John's life than it does Arthur. But yeah, you can see flowers are around here too. And that's another thing is, if you're looking for a certain type of lily or flower, they can be around this area and you can gather them. Now, I'm going to take a look at the strange man's cabin just for fun. Okay, now, like I said, this area is rich with egrets, herons, spoonbills. If you come here and you don't find them, leave for a couple days, come back. You'll be able to hunt until you can get what you need. That's right, this area right around the strange man's cabin. The entire area circle encircled by the road and that the... Railroad tracks goes through, great place to hunt uh, birds. And like you said, now I'm going to skin this alligator. And we're going to get on with, oh wait, hold on. I'm going to grab this orchid. It is a lady of the night, which you need. Then I'm going to get the alligator skin. But let's move on with part two. Mr. Kilgore, how are you? Well, I trust. I got you the plumes and the orchids that you asked for. You did? Oh, the Duchess of Sorrento will be most happy with you. She's an old friend, the Duchess. Gone to see it a little now, but in her youth, oh, she was the most beautiful woman in all of Italy. Oh, a Neapolitan pearl, and even I would have been it. Oh, bellissima. Oh, quite astonishing. You're good. Oh, you're very good. Algernon, I whispered to myself. I said, this man has the eye of an artist. No, he's better than an artist. He's a man of taste, a connoisseur like you. Oh, that's what I murmured to myself, and I wasn't wrong. No, sir, I was quite right. 
Marvelous. How much do I get? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, at least a hundred dollars. Hmm. <clears throat> this should set you right. I'm sorry it's cash. I prefer something less vulgar, but such is life. I'm fine with cash. Anything else you need? Me? No, I'm fine. There is one thing. More orchids are. Quite a particular list, but once again, I will make it worth your troubles. Okay. It's a little something I'm making for the uh, Baroness von Buchwald. <laughs> you know how she is. Oh, very demanding. Dreadfully so. The best ones they always are. Twenty heron plumes. Well, check out the strange man's cabin. Also, check out Copperhead Landing is another place. And just work your way down the coast from there. And then there's a few other places in Lake Hay where you might be able to find them. Twenty heron plumes. Yeah, that's going to take a long time, as is the moccasin orchids. Yeah. Like I said, this is a lot of time. Now we'll move on to part three because that's where things get a little bit tricky. Thank God you came, Tacitus. I was panicking. I cannot believe the pressure this woman puts me under. Which woman? The Baroness, of course. She writes the most dreadful missives from Baden-Baden. Still, now, I will finish her creation. Oh, my lord. And after that, it's never-ending. Well, if you keep paying, I can keep looking. I don't like to impose. No, keep paying me, and it's not an imposition. Well, then, here's the money for the orchids for that ghastly baroness. And next, I think we'll work on this. It's a, uh... Display a cabinet of curios for the Contessa de Bellagio's new palazzo on Lake Garda. <laughs> She's asked me to summer with her there next year, but, well, I find the whole thing a little gaudy. Italy is just so overrun with Americans just now, don't you find? Yeah, it's a real problem. And it's the worst kind of Americans. Financiers, New Yorkers, oh, they're such vulgarians. And, uh... What do you need? The silly old thing has a penchant for lizards. So, I'm making her a series of centerpieces focused on alligator eggs and orchids. Huh. It's about duality. Well, I'm all about duality. Huh. Huh. Well, here, and remember, Tacitus, take your time and bring me nothing. Nothing but the best. I'll try. Okay, if you did crawdad hunting with Pearson and you went to the strange man's cabin, there's also another gator nest in that area. So 25 gator eggs isn't that bad. It's the orchids that are going to be a pain in the ass for you to get in this mission. Stranger. Hello, Algernon. Well then, did you get those eggs? Oh, yes. You're a wonderful fellow, Tacitus. A man of a rare distinction. Herculean labors performed almost effortlessly in the pursuit of art. Huh. Oh, the Contessa, well, she's a terrible hag, but she'll be happy. I hope so. What do you think of this hat? 
Oh, yeah. Very exotic. I made it for you. For me? Ah, no. Uh, I'm just, uh, it's, it would be wasted on me, Algernon. I mean, it's too fine for a man of my coarseness. At least try it on. No. Please. <sighs> okay. Here you go. Not exactly me. No, you're right. It's all wrong. I went forte, and I should have gone molto adagio. Here's your money for the eggs and the flowers. Have you got anything else? No, but I've imposed too much already, and I'm ashamed of the millinery. Well, you pay well, and it's easy enough work. I do need some more orchids. Fairly rare ones, quite a few. It's for a cabinet I'm making for a wonderfully spoiled little girl on Fifth Avenue. I thought you hated New Yorkers. Oh, I do. I'm just so dreadfully weak-willed. It's not the money. It's the chance to make these things. Mm. Oh, I wanted to say no, Tacitus. I really did. But somehow, huh, I never can. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and uh, Tacitus, I'll make you something. Honestly? I'm fine. The bartender in the next room over felt his own urine toward a bank. Still felt a gang of money the other night. <laughs> he didn't even notice the difference. The 30 spoonbill plumes. I wish I'd shot more spoonbill before this. The orchids are actually going to be pretty easy to get. Now I'm going to show you after this another order potential spoonbill location because by the strange man's cabin, they stopped spawning for some reason. And that drove me nuts. There used to be like half a dozen spoonbill that would show up by the strange man's cabin. So this other area, it's somewhat reliable. Okay, I found this area looking for Chapter 5 of this mission, the Clamshell Orchid. There's five spoonbills sitting right there. And I came back a couple days later, there was a bunch more sitting there. This is a semi-reliable spoonbill place. And I'll show you on the map once I'm done. And I wish I'd found this place during Chapter 4. Otherwise, yeah, I was having a hard time getting spoonbills. And here on the map, oh, misled you, sorry. I'm going to get rid of the spoonbills first.
Now, you can see on the map where the character is located. Uh, yeah, at the tip of the island there, the Spoonbills reliably respawn. I wish I had found it during Chapter 4. Chapter 4 took forever. Now, this is Chapter 5 I'm doing, and let's get on to Chapter 6. you are. I uh, got you those orchids. I don't need them anymore. Why? What happened? It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm sorry. She left me for a oh. postman. <laughs> She married a postman. <laughs> I mean, it's, she's she's a countess and a postman. I mean, the shame of it. I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it. But a a postman. Life is extremely challenging at times. Tacitus, I want you to kill me. Huh? I I have a gun. What a gun. These are Tahitian pearls. Well, Tahiti? Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, Tacitus. Please, just kill me. What? No. Then give me the gun. <laughs> Calm down. I think it best for both of us if I keep the gun. I'm so ashamed, Tacitus. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Jeez. Now I'll have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to lay God, to smell the gardenias. I'm not <laughs> sure what to tell you. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, Tacitus. Too old to live without it. Oh. Wise words. But art will see me through, Tacitus. Surely it shall. Ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection. Not now. It's wonderful. You take care, Algernon. Goodbye, Tacitus. Think of me fondly. And that is that. One of the longest stranger mission threads in the game. You get a gun. And a really cool hat out of it. And that's it. Um, this has to be done to get 100%. Like I said, I've spent hours, hours wandering around to try and complete this. And wow. Uh, there were some things that I wish could have been done a little shorter or better. But I digress. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.